Hello, YouTube. Put your choppers in. Lock them in. Isn't that wild? Wild sensation. Well, it's almost three weeks, and uh, Wednesday will be three weeks. Actually, tomorrow will be the end of three weeks, 21 days. And you know, if you listen to me a little bit, I've gone through a uh, adhesive challenge. Been with C-Bond, been with Polygrip. C-Bond doesn't hold worth a dang, I don't think, on the top. Holds fine on the bottom, believe it or not. Uh, Polygrip is just too nasty for me to take off. Polygrip free. And this Fixident Original Pink is good. A little concerned about the zinc, whatever, but it is much better than the other two. But I have found the Holy Grail. And the Holy Grail for me is, drum roll, Fixident. Fixident Ultra Max, the gold one. Cost $5.89, something like that, at Walmart which is a buck more than the others. But I will tell you one thing. If you put it in and don't eat, or eat anything for like half an hour and just, you know, kind of keep trying to keep them pressed up against their soft surfaces. Soft surfaces. Man, I don't know why I have trouble talking in the morning, but anyway, the stuff works amazing. It like locks it in, locks them in. Uh... I love it. I can't imagine anything being any better. I don't use a whole lot. I use like what the back of the box says. Hopefully I won't die of any uh, zinc slash copper related neurological dead bug type poisoning things. But you know, honestly, I was reading that a lot of the people that have those problems use one or two tubes a week. And that's a lot. So anyway, uh try it. Try it out. That's all I really had to say. Uh, I've been eating just about everything. Oh my gosh, I ate my first drumstick snow cone. Not snow cone, the sugar cone part. This week, which was amazing. Or yesterday with the Ultra. I also uh, ate some hamburgers. Real like third pound patty type grill hamburgers. Went down great. Uh... It's just amazing. I'm eating. It's been three weeks. My mom is like, wow, her friends can't believe it. Old school dentures, they used to yank your teeth and then wait three months. So you had to go three months without choppers in. And then they would measure you up and put your choppers in. They call them temps or whatever. And my mom just could not believe that after three weeks I'm doing so well. I'm the first one in my immediate family to go down this path. Uh, I think my uncle had, my dad's brother had miles. choppers. To the my left, grand, North my granddad Wayne. had them my, on my dad's side. My grandmom on my dad's side had them. My grandmother on my mother's side had partials. My brother and sister had beautiful white enamel-ridden teeth. I mean, they've got like so much white on their teeth they could sell it for paint. Uh, I was the one born with the enamel hypoplasia. And I have to tell you, I almost took a video yesterday. I had a glass of grape juice on ice with a grape popsicle. And I just ate that thing up like there was no tomorrow. And I bit it with my dentures. And I let it sit on my dentures and all that. And I had no pain. No sensitivity. No pain. No nothing. It is just like... It's like another world. And that is why... Not only the aesthetic aspect... And how my teeth look so bad. But the sensitivity is what got me across the border. So to speak. So that's about it, you guys. Fix it in Ultra. I suggest it. And uh, I think it's funny watching these other guys on... Guys and girls on YouTube. My, my, my people who forged the way way before me. They talk about, well, I don't get paid to say this. Of course you don't. You're an idiot that wears dentures. Just like me. So from one idiot to the next, Fix It In Ultra, I think is pretty good. I can't wait to get a soft reline, and uh, I don't know when that's coming. I don't know if I should do my own or wait till the dentist decides. And I hear about how bad it tastes, and I hear how bad the hard line, the hard relines taste and all that. But so far, the adhesive's doing just fine, so I'm cool. All right, you guys have a great Monday.
It's still snowing here in Indiana. Can you believe it? Well, Florida boy, Georgia boy, been in the Midwest a couple times, came back here, uh, enjoying the snow, I guess. April 7th, I believe, or 8th, or something like that. So anyway, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.